Hello again, this is Akoto Derek from ScreamingEagleAirsoft.com. We're starting a new mini-series, uh, Airsoft 101. It's part of our Know-It-All series. Uh, you can view the other Know-It-Alls in my um, playlists. Also, um, the Airsoft 101s is going to uh, go over uh, basically basics, things you need to know to get into the sport of airsoft and not be a noob. Um, today we're going to start with uh, the rules. The rules of airsoft. There's a lot of different rules uh, and a lot of different fields have their own rules. Teams have their own rules. You and your friends might have your own rules. Um, indoor, you know, uh, Ranges, they might have their own rules, but when you um, when you go to a bunch of different sites, like I have, I've been to a bunch of different games, you start to develop an understanding that they all have pretty much the same rules. They might tweak them a little bit here and there, but what I'm going to give you is the basic rules so you can understand Airsoft overall and that you can... Um, you know, so you can enjoy the sport. The first thing is FPS limits, feet per second. There, um, it's smart to limit how hard your BBs fly. You don't want to injure anybody. Uh, some fields have um, set FPS limits. Some have like a if your FPS is this, this is what your minimum engagement distance is, and things like that. If you stay around 400 FPS with your uh, .25s, you're going to be fine on almost every field. Uh, there are some fields that are lower than that, like 330. Um, stay around 400 with 25s. If you need to lower your FPS, you can always increase the weight of your BBs um, you, without, having to, without having to upgrade or degrade your, your weapon. Um, Point two O's are going to travel a little bit faster, but uh, uh, the the standard is to measure them against point two fives, and that would be 400, 425 ish. Okay, right in there. Um, some some sites have uh, if you have a fully automatic weapon like a saw. Um, M60, MG42, something like that, a machine gun type weapon, you're allowed a slightly higher FPS, but you have a minimum engagement distance, uh, like maybe 525 and a 25 foot engagement distance. Um, if you have a sniper rifle, they're usually allowed the highest FPS, uh, because you're only taking one BB and shooting it down range, and you need to be able to hit your target. The um, 725 is what I've seen to be pretty much the highest end limit for sniper rifles, but they also come with the longest engagement distance, like 100 yards, 100 feet, 100 feet. Um, if they get within 100 feet of you, you better be pulling out your pistol, you know, to shoot them, because if you shoot them with the 725 FPS at 50 feet or whatever, you're going to hurt them. All right, the next thing I want to talk about is hits. Okay, you're on the field, you're in, you know, you you're playing around, you're you're in the game and a BB hits you. You know, from who knows where it came from, but a BB hits you. You should call that hit. Okay? Just say it's a hit. If you know that it bounced off a wall or if it bounced off the guy that's standing next to you and then it hits you, don't call it. But if you don't know where this BB came from and it hits you, call it. If it's a soft hit, like the BB just lobs in, tap, that's still a hit. I mean, you don't know what the other guy's got. He might be, he might be a kid and he's running around with a 100 FPS Springer, you know, and, and, and he's feeling good, like, wow, I actually hit something. And you don't call it. That's just being a dick. Okay, call that hit. Um, if, if your helmet is hit, 
call the hit. If your ammo pouches are hit, call the hit. If your gun is hit, okay, now here we go. Now we're breaking into the rules. Some fields say that if your gun is hit, the gun is destroyed, you have to use your secondary sidearm. If you're carrying a shot, you know, if you're carrying another weapon with you, you can use it. Otherwise, you have to go respawn. Some fields say that a hit on anything in your possession, helmet, gun, canteen, whatever, is a kill. So, um, find out the way your field is playing and then go that way. Um, every, every field is different. Um, but most of them go with the, if anything in your possession is hit, just call it as a hit and go respawn. Speaking of respawn, since we're talking about dying, uh, there's a variety of different ways to respawn. Sometimes in the game they change it. So you just have to be aware of the current rules that your team is using or the field is using at that time. Sometimes the respawns are, you got to walk all the way back over to a designated marked spot, touch it, you're back alive, and you come back into the game. Some respawns are... You go, you do the same walk, you find that spot, you stand there and you have a clock and you stand there for five minutes. You know, you have a time to respawn. Um, but on the other hand, there's there are some fields that use these medic rules and where these medics are marked, you know, they got the red cross on their arm or their helmet or something like that, or they, or they just have a piece of white tape on them or however your field does that. Um, and those are medics, which basically means they're moving respawn points. So if you get killed, you could scream medic. Uh, the medic guy can run over to you and he can fix you up, basically give you your life back, and you can go rejoin the game. Some, uh, and then the, when the medic dies, he's got to go respawn, you know, because he, or another medic has to come up to him and sometimes, you know, it varies, just depends on how they do it. Sometimes they don't have any medics. It just depends on how your game is going that time. Um, some games you don't have any response, you know, like when you die, you're done. You know, you go wait on the sideline, you wait to see who wins. Um, those are fast games usually. Uh, okay, let's see, what else can we uh, talk about in the rules? Okay. Um, Dying. We're, st we're still on the dying subject. When you're playing, 99% of the fields that I've seen out there have a red flag, kill flag, that you have to have in your possession. Uh, get a red handkerchief, a red washcloth, something like that. Uh, put in your pocket, your cargo pocket or your, you know, your back jeans pocket, whatever, and you keep it away. And then when you get killed, when you get hit, you call out the word hit. Hit! I've been hit, okay? You let the guy that shot you know you've been hit, so he doesn't just keep shooting you, okay? But other people don't know that you're hit because they don't know who, who's being shot at or who's just screamed out hit because it's pretty hectic out there. And that's when you reach in your pocket, you pull out your red flag, and you go, I've been hit, okay? And then you hold the flag out in your, in your hand while you walk, run, jog, sprint, whatever, to the respawn point, so you're not shot as you're being as you're going to respawn. Now, as soon as you respawn, you put the flag away. You're basically back to life. Okay, so you always keep a red flag with you. Uh, that's a, pretty much a requirement on every field. So, if you're thinking about getting into airsoft, grab a red flag, red handkerchief, red paper you know some kind of something you can flash that it's red okay um, what else can we talk about okay um, eye protection okay variety of different eye protection your eyes are required to be protected on every field I have not gone to a field that did not require eye protection so you have to get eye protection you can get simple five dollar goggles that you can wear on the field and you are covered or you could spend a hundred and fifty dollars and get the real extreme face mask that covers your entire head and face and you know the army of two uh, 
Jason mask or whatever. You can go the full, you can go however you want. You can get paintball. I've noticed that a lot of people are wearing paintball masks. Those are fine because they can resist, they can resist a hit also. Um, again, you're not going to be getting hit by uh, maybe 400, 425 FPS point blank. So that's what it really needs to withstand. Uh, eye protection, you have to have eye protection. You do not have to have face protection. You see a lot of people out there wearing full face masks. That's because they're smart. It's not because they're uh, required. Um, the, your teeth, if you're hit with a 500 FPS gun and hits your tooth, it's going to break. It's just the way that's going to happen. It will chip maybe even or something, your tooth. And then you've got all this dental work. I would wear a mouth guard, you know, like a little uh, teeth, teeth mouth guard that you wore when you were in football. Something like that. Wear that and you will be more than fine. Your teeth will be fine. Your eyes will be fine. And you're cruising on and you're killing people and you're enjoying yourself. Everybody's having a good time. Some people, that's me, don't want to get hit in the cheek, don't want to get hit in the nose. So I wear a full face. Okay, that's just personal preference and not a requirement. Um, you can get goggles for like five bucks. You can get a mouth guard for like two bucks or something like that. You can get a red flag, red handkerchief or whatever for like one dollar. And you're good to go. You're ready to play. All you need is a gun and some ammo. Um, that is the rules. Um, now... Different fields have different games, and each game has their own rules, like you might have to go get an objective, or you might have to push a button, or you might have to carry something from point A to point B. Those are mission-specific. Those are not airsoft rules. Those are the mission rules. So uh, that you would have to find out at your field, from the referees, um, things like that. Okay, let me see. Are there re really any additional rules? No. Not really. Okay, let's recap here. You had you got to have glasses. You got to have no you don't. But I recommend. You have a mouth guard. You have to have a red hanky. You have to have a gun, obviously, that doesn't shoot too hard, 425 with 25s. And that's it. If you have that, you can play. So, and you call your hits when you get hit, dunk. And you pull your red hanky out when you get hit, and you shake it, and you say hit when you get hit. And you respawn, usually. And that's the rules. Pretty simple. Airsoft is so simple, a caveman can do it. Sorry, I had to say that. Uh, all right, and so that was the rules of Airsoft. I hope that helps you out if you're thinking about getting into the sport because I know there's a lot of you out there that are interested in Airsofting and not sure what you need, afraid that you're going to need to buy some kind of $150 kit or whatever, you know, have all your gear on and stuff like that, and you don't. You can go out and have fun with just your average everyday clothes, you know, your jeans, your T-shirt, and you, now you know the rules. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to check out other know-it-all videos that we have. Um, and in this series right here, the Airsoft 101, it's focus on Airsoft basics for new Airsofters.